हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रेजी वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल कॉमर्स क्लास टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट इश्यू ऑफ शेयर्स एट पार जर्नल एंट्रीज आर एक्सप्लेन विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एन एग्जाम्पल हिंदुस्तान लिमिटेड वॉज रजिस्टर्ड विथ अ नॉमिनल कैपिटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी लैख डिवाइडेड इंटू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शेयर्स ऑफ हंड्रेड इच कंपनी इश्यूड टेन थाउजेंड शेयर्स एट पार पेएबल rupees 20 on application 30 on allotment 20 on first call and 30 on final call all shares were subscribed by the public and amounts duly received pass journal entry in the book of the company in this question nominal capital of hindustan limited is given that is 20 lakh and 20 lakh is divided into 20000 shares of 100 each the number of share is 20000 and price of one share is 100 then company issued 10000 shares at par so company decided to issue 10000 shares and total issued capital is 10000 into 100 and issued capital is 10 lakh here shares are issued at par application money uh, application uh, is rupees 20 then allotment as 30 then first call is 20 and final call is 30 all the shares were subscribed by the public your company issued 10000 shares and all these 10000 shares are subscribed by the public and amounts duly received then we want to pass journal entries in the book of hindustan limited here nominal value of one share is 100 and here shares are issued at a price equal to the nominal value out of this 100 20 rupees 20 received on application so 20 as application money then 30 as received at the time of allotment 20 at the time of first call 30 at the time of final call now we will move to the journal entries on receipt of application money journal entry is bank account debtor to share application account on receipt of application money journal entry is bank account debtor to share application account so 20 rupees were received at the time as application money and we have 10000 shares company issued 10000 shares and application as application money as 20 so total application money as 10000 into 20 20 as the price of one share so 10000 into 20 uh, so 2 lakh as application money total received at the uh, uh, total received by the company as 2 lakh so application money received on 10000 shares at 20 each that is 2 lakh company receives 2 lakh from public and journal entry as bank account debtor 2 lakh to share application account here we have two accounts bank account and share application account so 2 lakh is coming to the bank account so debit what comes in so bank account debtor to share application account amount as 2 lakh that is 10000 shares at rupees 20 each so 10000 into 20 to lakh as application money then acceptance of application for that we want to transfer share application money to share capital account and john lendry as share application account debtor to share capital and here company receives 2 lakh so that 2 lakh should be transferred to share capital account so share application account debtor to share capital account after receiving application money company will proceed to allot shares to applicants so issuing shares to applicants 
in response to their application for shares that is allotment. Then second step is allotment of shares. Journal entry when allotment due share allotment account debtor to share capital account. Applicants applied for 10,000 shares and company allotted 10,000 shares for rupees 30. Out of this 100, 30 is received at the time of allotment. So 10,000 into 30 and 3 lakh. Journal entry, share allotment account debtor, 3 lakh to share capital account. Then allotment money received. So journal entry, bank account debtor to share allotment account, same amount that is 3 lakh. Then next one is first call. Here issue price is 100 and 20 rupees is received as application money. Then 30 is received as allotment money. Then balance to be recorded as 50. 20 plus 30, 50 is already received and balance is 50. Money payable other than application money and allotment money by the shareholder as and when company calls or demands is known as call money. So balance is received two installments that is first call and final call. In first call, 20 rupees received and final call, 30 rupees. So, journal entry for first call. Share first call account debtor to share capital account and amount 10,000. Number of share is 10,000. Then amount is 20. So, 10,000 into 20 and 2 lakh is call money. On receipt of first call money, journal entry, bank account debtor to first call account, same amount, rupees 2 lakh. Now, balance amount is 30 rupees, 30 receipt as final call, then journal entry, Second or final call due, journal entry is final call account debtor to share capital account and amount is 10,000 shares at the rupees 30, so 3 lakh is final call amount. Then final call money received, journal entry, bank account debtor to share final call account amount is 3 lakh, that is 10,000 into 30. 3 lakhs final call money received by the company. These are the journal entries when company issued at issued shares at par. Please subscribe my channel and share my videos. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye.